We are back. Welcome back, everybody. So, uh, some things happened in between. There's been a little bit of a break there. I was, uh, playing some other games. Some real-life things happened. We'll get into that later. But today, we're going to start new again. We're going to go into New Game Plus. And, um, I set myself some rules. So, what we're going to do here... Before we before we make this selection, let's go over here. So this is the North American Scout. Well, not just the North American Scouts. This is all the Scouts. Um, obviously, Season 11 released. Uh, the Burlap is available now. I did play a little bit of Season 11 on my main save, and it's pretty fun. Um, good map. Good maps. Um, there's some some hate out there for it because it's not exactly Scandinavia and it's like you know what I didn't I don't live in Scandinavia I think it's a great map they're pretty easy but that's okay it's not it's not like overly challenging it's it's enough of a challenge right kind of a good balance um so what I'm thinking of doing for this first option here is to select a random North America scout. However, one of those scouts happens to be this thing. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, this thing is actually a very capable off-roader. Um, but I just don't want to use it. It's, it's not fun to use. Um, however, I don't know, that might, I don't know, we, we don't know until we get in the game of what we're going to get. Um, I don't think I'll get the Apache because I don't have it. Um, I didn't. It's one DSC that I didn't buy just because I don't like it. Um, we could get the Chevy, which would be fine. Um, and we're rolling the dice for this guy right here. So we could get the F-750 from the start of the game, which would be crazy awesome. I doubt it's going to happen, but it would be really cool. So that's a possibility. Uh, we could get the Hummer. Hummer's not a bad vehicle. We could get the International Lodestar, which is a really good starting vehicle as well. Um, very expensive, so it would save me money. Um, we could get the Jeeps. Uh, these are not... I don't know if the Land Rovers count as North American or not. Probably not. But we could get one of those, maybe. Um, I have no idea if this counts as... We're going to find out, I guess. Or the Resvani. I don't know if that counts. Um, here's the downside, right? Here's the rolling of the dice. We could possibly get the Scout 800. <laughs> and I'm setting myself a rule for this new series that I'm just not going to use the Scout at all. But we could be forced into it. So that's why I'm. Uh, we're going to do it. We're just going to we're going to make that selection. So it could be oh, this one right here. Random NA Scout. Um, so the this is the, the neat part about New Game Plus, is you can make it sort of in between, hard, which is what I'm going to do. You can make it actually harder than hard mode, but I'm going to make it sort of in between hard mode and not hard mode. Um, this allows you to change like what rank you start at, so I'm going to just leave it at default. Um, the money thing. So normally you start with about $8,000, $9,000, somewhere in there. But there is no option for that. It's 5, 15, 25, 150, 500,000. And then there's these ones, okay, which is like a roll of the dice. Could you win the lottery? Could you not win the lottery? So it's from zero to a million, from zero to 100,000. Um, I want some money to start the game with. So I'm going to do this one here random from 5,000 to 100,000. So we could get lucky there as well. So let's say if we do get the scout, but we get you know, 40,000 or something, we could sell it immediately and buy something else. So that's sort of my hope that if I get unlucky in one, I will get lucky in the other, but we could get unlucky in both and we're stuck with the scout. So we'll see what happens. Um, for the truck availability, that's just, we're going to leave default. Uh, we don't want any of the DLC trucks because it's going to give me a, a very cheaty start. Um, now, we're going to allow to purchase the DLC trucks. We just don't want to start with them. Um, default truck pricing, obviously, if we're going to buy trucks, we want to buy them. For selling them, we're going to make it the same as hard mode. So if we, they sell for half the price. So it doesn't allow us to sell and rebuy, right? 
Um, so we're going to stick with that one. Uh, storage. This is like less vehicles at a time. I'm just leaving it default. Trailer is default. Trailer store is default. The purchase price for trailers is default. Well, what I'm going to do here so that you could have hard mode rules where they're just not able to be sold, right? I'm going to make them sellable at 30% price. Um, and what that does is gives us an incentive to actually drag trailers back to the garage. Um, I mean, it's not a ton of money, but it's, it's still like something I feel like you find these trailers on the map that you can use and you, you should be able to sell them for something, right? Um, all this stuff, body add-ons, tire availability, we're leaving this all default. We want it to start at level one and progress like it normally does through the game. Internal add-on, vehicle add-on. Okay, so garage refueling, we're turning off. Okay, so we're gonna leave that just like hard mode. Um, I don't really understand this one. So this says use, use settings from normal game mode, but normal game mode fuels free. So we're not gonna cheat on this one, but I don't really know what this is gonna do. If it's gonna be where the gas costs money at the gas station. Cause like, if you look to say there's refueling is free as an option, which is what normal game mode would be to me. But then there's normal two times normal price, four times normal price. So I think we're just going to leave it at default and see what happens, but we're not going to cheat. So if the, if the fuel ends up being free at the gas stations, we're not going to use it. We're still going to pretend like it's difficult, right? Because um, I do, I did like the fuel management aspect of hard mode. It, it made it less of like, oh, I can just stop here and fill up and it doesn't matter. I don't have to plan it. I don't have to bring a trailer. None of, you know, this is a... I want it to be a little bit of a challenge. I just want it to be more fun, right? Um, so, on that note, I hate having crumpled up vehicles. Um, if you watched any of the previous series, it, it like bothered the heck out of me when I would like ding a bumper. And so the garage repair, we hired a mechanic. His name is Bob. He's gonna hang out at our garage and repair vehicles for us for free. Um, so if I can manage to, I'm going to use the Kodiak on the first map as an example in Black River. Um, if we drag the Kodiak, if we find the Kodiak and we drag it with its flat tires and all, all the way back to the garage, Bob will fix it for free and he will repair all the body damage. So, and, or I could pay for recovering it, which is what we're going to do. Uh, there's another thing here somewhere. Uh, we'll get to it eventually so we're gonna let we're gonna let the garage repair just because i feel like there should be there should be a setting in the game and this is if they're listening uh there really should be a split there should be a repair body damage and a repair where you pay you know x amount of dollars to repair body damage and then a repair um you know actual broken pieces on the truck separately and if there was a setting in new game plus where you could repair just the body damage for free i would turn this is why i'm turning that on um because i just i, I hate it when it's all like smashed up looking i just don't like it um so anyhow i digress repair part restock rules we're just leaving this uh oh that's right um bob charges money to come out and do a trip charge so we have to pay to restock trailers and whatnot for him but the garage is free so let's do it that way um repair points efficiency this is like if you want it to be either more or less effective i'm just leaving it default um this is if you want it to be different prices outside of the home region of the vehicle which i'm just leaving default uh damage default Okay, here we go. Truck recovery. Paid base price. Okay, so we're going to just leave it at paid base price. I wanted to... I still wanted to... You know, I, there is no recovering a vehicle if you tip it or if you're just done with the mission and you feel like going back to the base like normal, right? Um, there's is there still travel time. Um, so this is something I was looking at and there's actually like different monetary rewards you can do for quests and whatnot. It goes all the way up to 300% or random. 
Um, what I'm going to do with this actually, just because I want to try it out, is do 150% for both contracts and then tests and contests as well. Um, however, we're going to do the same rules. Now, supposedly hard mode is supposed to be three attempts from everything I've read, but everything I played on my version of the game was five attempts, so we're just going to leave it permanently unavailable after five attempts. Um, the other thing too, uh, as you know, I hate using the crane and I don't want to buy a crane and lug it around because it makes the truck heavier and use more fuel and it's annoying and I just don't want to do it. I also don't want to pay for loading, so I'm just going to, because of a quality of life thing and it's my game and I want to have fun, um, we're going to leave it where automatic cargo loading just is free. Um, so you don't actually have to pay for it. Um, this is like the the map markers. I'm just leaving it default. Honestly, I don't know really what the difference is between the two. Um, okay, so this one, I wanted to talk about this one because this is something that bothers me. Um, again, this should be like a double setting maybe or something that you could do with achievement progress or what whatnot. But I feel like when you're done with a, with a zone or a region, you shouldn't have to pay to go to the next region. I mean, I get it. You have to pay for traveling and whatnot. Um, I'm leaving it off, but I'm not. I'm going to call it the no cheating clause, where I can't like go to Tamir and grab the Taiga and come back with it. Like, I no, there's no cheating, right? Um, when I'm done with the region. You can, I can move as many trucks as I want. It doesn't cost me anything to move. I don't have to plan or budget for the move to the next region, which I think is silly. Um, truck switching rules. This, you can actually charge yourself to switch between trucks, which I thought was crazy. Like that would be, that'd be something harder than hard mode, but I'm just leaving that default. Uh, time settings, I found an interesting one. So there's no, you know, the no time skip default, like what hard mode is. I still want the no time skip, but there's a double daytime, which I think I'd rather have. So I'm just going to do double daytime. There's a double nighttime. There's a day only and there's a night only. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just going to do the double daytime with no time skip, I think. And that's what we're going to do. So let's see. Let's roll the dice. This is it. We're pressing accept. Um, this one right here. So a little bit on what happened to the hard mode save. Um, I'm obviously new to the whole YouTube recording. Um, and I just I just had a moment of terror there as I went through that whole thing and realized I didn't check the screen like I was going to. But uh, I used Streamlabs. Streamlabs. Oh, uh, we got a really cool vehicle, by the way. Um, I used Streamlabs to uh, do this recording. And I have like different screen setups, like this map runner screen, for example. It goes to a browser window and I can go to this browser window and go back to, you know, like my map, for example. So we're going to go to Black River and then there's so what I was doing in one of the last the very last episode that is recorded, but I never published it. I spent 45 minutes on this screen driving around, talking, getting objectives, doing things on this screen. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to the recording, I got to the editing of the video, and I was like, you gotta be kidding me, I just did all of that. And so then you can't, because this game is not like where you can like load a previous save, for example, it just is always there. Uh, yeah, I was, I was very uh, discouraged and frustrated with myself and the recording process, <laughs> and... Uh, kind of put it on hold for a little bit to, to figure out what how I was going to fix the problem. So then I tried using a couple of mods to maybe like not necessarily revert my progress, but like get to where I was in a new game. And then I screwed up my save and now that save is gone. So hard mode is unfortunately over for now. <laughs> um, so that's why we're starting this new series. I want to focus on having fun. Um, and this is a really cool truck. We actually kind of won the lottery here and we got $53,000. So, uh, this is a pretty good start. 
Ooh, you can get raised suspension right away. Well, seeing, as we, seeing as we have 53,000, let's grab the raised suspension right away. Oh, shoot. Uh, well, darn it. I guess that's not terrible. If I didn't make it half price to sell, that's okay. Eh, well, it is what it is. Um, I, I was going to make it to be like, I don't know if that's even an option. It probably was um, to sell back your your um, add-ons to be half price, kind of like it is in hard mode. Oh, well. Um, we're going to go with these. Supposedly, these Resvani off-road tires are pretty decent. I've, I've re actually really not used this vehicle a lot, so this is going to be kind of fun. It's a DLC that I bought that I just really haven't used. Um, so let's see, we got stock gearbox. Oh, this uses truck. Oh no, Snow Runner is the scout one. Okay, uh, should we... You know what, we're gonna buy one right away. I'm just going with it. We're just going, I don't want to deal with it. So does this have, no, it does not have a snorkel. So we're gonna put a snorkel on it right away. What do we got? Ooh, we got, we have repair stuff right away. Look at this. Uh, 27 gallon fuel tank, 16 gallon fuel tank. What do I want more of? That doesn't have spare tires. Do I really need spare tires? Not really. I think the extra fuel is more valuable. Then again, I kind of planned on towing around a fuel trailer. Uh, well, we can change it. Let's see if there's any cool... Um, I don't want... Oh, what is... Jeez. Um... Any cool paint jobs? Let's see. So that's that one, obviously. Oh, that's fucking sweet. Yeah, we're going with that green one, 100%. That's the one right there. All right. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. So I came up with some some rules as well for this new season. Um, so we're gonna start by saying we don't want to do any mods, but that's a big maybe. Um, because because mods make the game a little too easy. Um, there's some mods and. I guess the thing that I would do if I would do a, if I would do a mod would be to make it not super difficult, or I shouldn't say not super difficult, not super easy, right? Like I would try and find a mod that's not crazy overpowered, like some of the ones I've used. To remember what buttons are what again in this game it's been a, a minute all right so bob fixed this up for us thanks bob U utilizing our, our our very friendly mechanic that repairs things for us so the mod functionality like i said it's it's there's a lot of things why am i Oh, I'm to the right of where I need to be. Like, where's my path? Dodge all these uh, things. I have no idea how this thing doesn't gas to you. I guess we'll find out. It's got a decent sized gas tank. It's 22. It's the same as the Chevy was. But I, but I have like 27 on the roof now. Oh, shoot. No, I don't. Because fuel is paid. Fuel does not fill up in the garage. I need to find the fuel tanker. That's all right. We're headed that way. So yeah, no mods for sure. No mods. Um, the the only way I would use a mod is if it if I get into like harder maps and I might need something a little more powerful. But I think we'll be fine. I don't. I'm not really planning on using mods. Um, DLC trucks obviously can be purchased since I already have one. Um, and then for the missions, for the tasks, for the, uh, contracts, that kind of thing. Um, 
for each region my plan is is we need to unlock all the trucks all the upgrades do all the tasks okay contracts tasks and maybe i don't know i'm a little afraid to do that one that one timed mission or that uh, contest that uh, I failed miserably at in hard mode. Um, mind you, I was using the scout, so it, it could be a whole different story now. Um, but the I, the only thing I don't want to do, which I talked about this in my hard mode series as well, is I don't like logging. Um, it's just annoying. You have to transport trailers back and forth. It, it's just it's a lot of work for not a lot of reward, and I just don't want to do it. So we're not going to hundred. We're not going for a hundred percent. We're going for fun, um, and that's the focus. We're going to focus on having fun this time around. And not that I wasn't having fun the last time, but if you're paying for, you know, you're playing a game, you're playing it to have fun, right? You know, you're not playing it to make it miserable on yourself um and it was there was times where i was like this could be more fun um so yeah we're we're just not gonna do it i just i refuse to do logging missions um i mean maybe 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 down the road if we get to the point and i want to do some logging missions maybe i will but maybe i'll come back and do logging missions after i get the aramatsu forester Maybe. Because I haven't actually ever used that truck. Um, there's a lot of zones that I never really completed um, in this game. And that's sort of... I, I like the exploring aspect of it more than anything else in the game. And we're going to do lots of exploring this time around. Boy, those lights suck. I guess it's not super dark yet. Yeah, this thing is uh, a little bit better than the Chevy. Than the stock Chevy. Still a little bit of winching. So yeah, that's my main goal. Um, we're not going to really go back to hard mode unless I decide at some point that I want to do start over hard mode. And maybe, maybe we can come up with some sort of cool scenario of like starting. I don't know. I'd have to like download a mod to give me money or something though to do it. I was thinking maybe we could like do like a hard mode scenario type of thing where you start in like Alaska or something, <laughs> you know, and give yourself like a decent vehicle to start with or something or a couple of vehicles to start with and then like take a bunch of your money away and then, right, like give yourself some money, buy some vehicles and then take some money away. I think there's mods that do that. Um, but it'd be kind of neat. I guess it'd be kind of neat. I've been watching a... I've been watching and playing, um, I don't know if you got, obviously I, everybody plays other games, right? Um, and I've been playing a lot of farming simulator again. It's just, I don't know. It's been sort of revitalized for me. I I always liked that game too. Um, I still play lots of wow. There's a new season coming out for a while in a uh, couple weeks, actually. Um, new season, season three. I don't know. I'm not overly excited about this one. We can talk about that someday. There's, there's things in it, and maybe, 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 I kind of had an idea to do some recording for a while as well. Um, and the, the idea, which you can leave a comment in the comments below if this is something that would interest you. Um, I kind of want to do not, so there's the Zero to Hero series, right? Um, everybody knows what the Zero to Heroes are. Where you start at nothing and work your way with only pugs in mythic plus up to 2500 rating right and i can do that i've done that before that's not it's fun i just don't necessarily i feel like that's sort of overdone something i've never seen done though and this is sort of the perfect season to do it um zero to question mark and what i mean by question mark is no mythic plus no, or, no organized rating and getting from whatever I have a couple of characters that I could do this on as well low item level to get to as high as item level as possible with just world content and LFR rating 
So doing heroic dungeons, doing being a social, right? Being being the the average Joe that plays World of Warcraft that doesn't do the harder content, that doesn't do organized raiding, that doesn't have a group of friends to play with, that just does solo content out in the open world or with the dungeon finder queue, you know? So like the LFR and dungeon finder. How high can we get next season? Because next season there's some changes to how fast you can obtain gear. It's different than this season, but it's also there's some things that allow people that don't have as high of content functionality in their in their gameplay to obtain some higher gear kind of want to see how it works i was thinking i might do that do it with uh, I, have a, I have a paladin i could do it with or a couple other characters i could do it with i thought it'd be kind of neat try it out do something a little different something i've never seen before there's a lot of content creators out there and there's a lot of really good content out there that i don't want to step on either um and people just i i like to watch content too you know <laughs> i watch a lot of people play snow runner i watch a lot of people play uh like i said lately it's been my my niche has been watching farm sim videos but that that's what kind of gave me the idea of uh you know doing doing something with like a hard mode save in this as well uh just doing something that would be more of like a role play type series of we're starting hard mode, but we're starting in, in Mandra, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> something ridiculous, you know. Um, so it's a I thought it'd be kind of neat, you know, but then you, you'd have to like you have to have mods to do that. You can't you can't not cheat to get that to where you want it to be. Right. You come up with those ideas. So that's my that's my thing. I definitely like uh tinkering in other games. Which brings me to another point. Um so I don't I don't necessarily know I was trying to do one episode a day before, which it was a lot. I'm not going to lie. I have a full-time job. I play other games. Um I have a wife, you know, a wife and a dog. We like to go out and do things. I had a lot of family stuff going on um, that pulled me away from any kind of gaming. Where did I go? I went the wrong way. I didn't. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I missed a turn. We need the map. We got to go this way. Yeah, this thing is infinitely better at uh, off-roading already it's kind of cheating but uh you know what that's okay this is this is more fun to me so frequency going forward i don't i don't know how often we're gonna kind of find a balance um i kind of still want to do one a day but i don't think i i really enjoyed as i progressed um you watched any of the previous series you will know that um i went from pretty basic to uh doing some pretty fun things with uh editing and that kind of thing and i had a lot of fun doing the editing aspect but it takes a lot of time too so like you it takes an hour or two to record a video right and i still kind of want to keep the same format of keeping it within an hour per episode um and we'll see where that ends up it might be half hour it might be an hour it might be more than an hour i don't know it depends on the episode i guess i kind of want to have a goal for each episode um i was doing that sort of but i i guess i want to plan it out a little better um like this episode number one goal on this episode is going to be just scouting um we're not even going to worry about bridges we're just going to scout we're going to go past bridges that are down so we can get past most of them and we're going to do some unlocks and get some upgrades and maybe find some vehicles and sell the scout immediately because we're never going to use it again. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. We probably I should probably not sell it until I grab the Chevy from uh, Smithville Dam, but uh, just so we have a backup scout. But 
I'm actually I'm not gonna sell it at all <coughs> until I get that upgrade. There was an upgrade that I got. I don't know if that was a part of the recorded video or one of the not recorded videos. The very last video, but the there was a there was a scout upgrade that made me angry. It was like a lifted suspension upgrade that I got on Smithville Dam that I didn't get before I sold it off. And I was like, yeah, I could have used that, but because then you can get a little bit of money from it, but that's okay. I think money will be not as much of a problem this time around. Uh, we still have to worry about gas, but. So yeah, that, that's my goal. I don't know if it's going to be once every couple of days, once a week maybe to start with. And then I might mix in some other content. Um, I kind of just like doing this. I kind of like playing games. I kind of like, uh, you know, talking to you guys and okay, am I going the right way? Am I, am I lost again? No, I'm not. I got to go this way. But I just enjoy playing the game. I really do. Uh, I had a lot of fun kind of messing around in Scandinavia and the new maps for season 11. Um, I went and immediately got the burlap and was actually sort of immediately disappointed with it. Not going to lie. Um, this might be a hot take and might be met with criticism, but I don't think it's that good. Um, I'm, I will hands down use the F750 over that truck any day of the week. Uh, there's, there's no question that the F750 is just a better scout in it, in every way. Um, like it's, it's kind of bouncy. It's, it's, it's a little tippy feeling like it's, it's definitely very low fuel consumption, but so is the, so is the F750. I don't know. I did, I didn't really like it. I kind of expected more out of something with such huge tires, but. I mean, it's definitely not bad. It performs well, but it's just slow and kind of cumbersome feeling and turns slow and like the, and yeah, it, you can use the caveat of it tows full size trailers, but so does the F750. So if I was going to compare the two, the F750 is still a better scout. And I was kind of hoping for that thing. I was kind of hoping that when we rolled the dice today. But this is a pretty acceptable... I haven't really used this truck that much, and I actually kind of like it. It's definitely not F750 powerful. But it's not bad. This will definitely do. Can this thing tow trailers? I don't see a trailer hitch. Ooh... That could be interesting. Um, we're going to have to stop at the trailer store at some point. And, uh, yeah, this thing definitely doesn't use as much gas either. I guess it's probably about the same. The Chevy in its, in its stock configuration is about the same. I guess we'll see once we get the snow runner box and whatnot. But yeah, my plan is, is to just kind of, if I can with this thing, hopefully I can with this thing, just carry a scout trailer around. If not, that could have, I can, my idea was, is I was just going to do a whole bunch of scouting in the beginning. Cause like I said, it's what I like to do. Kind of explore these back paths, get upgrades, get trucks use the uh <clears throat> the fleet star and other vehicles to do bridges and whatnot but we're not gonna like worry about tasks right away tasks will be sort of at the end you know i feel like at least in michigan you can pretty much explore the whole map without having to unlock much yeah there's bridges and stuff that need to be made and there's there's sort of one I guess not really. You can go through the mud to get to uh, Island Lake. Where am I going? I didn't go up here. Just randomly exploring.
Gonna go back up this way. But yeah, this way, I mean, I'm not I'm not as worried about doing damage to the vehicle because Bob will fix it for us. <clears throat> Good old Bob. I should grab that quest right away. Oh, well. But yeah, I might, I don't know. I feel like the content of, again, I, I like watching it more than I like doing it. But the, the content of uh, the whole, like, roleplay series of farm sims are, like, super fun to watch. I'm not going to lie. I just don't know if they're as fun to do. So, may I don't know. Maybe. Leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see something like that. We might we might do a couple of series at the same time. Like I said, I might do that, that WoW series. Because I am going to be doing Mythic Plus in the new season with my main character, and I am going to be doing some raiding one night a week. Um, so that's going to be coming up here, and I'm going to be having less time to be playing SnowRunner. But that's okay, because I feel like... So, like, when I get into SnowRunner, which I am into SnowRunner always, but when I really start playing it, I, I don't want to stop playing it, right? And that's difficult for this game when you're trying to record it. Because if you stop, then you also have to, you know, stop your recording. Or if you continue, then you're making progress without recording. So you kind of have to just record the whole time. And I kind of want a little bit of a break in between to, like, plan out what I want to do for the next episode and... Maybe come up with a thing, you know, so like there's there's different things that I'd like to be doing to kind of make it a little more interesting for everybody to watch. And it's a little more interesting for me if I kind of set myself a goal. Ooh, go back this way. But this, I mean, this, I'm kind of on autopilot in this zone <laughs> because, so we're going to get through it as, ooh, let's not tip over. That was close. Thing's pretty stable, but you can tilt, still tip it if you're being reckless. And we still have to pay for recovery. So yeah, hopefully we... Um, hopefully you guys were enjoying the previous series. I was enjoying it. Like I said, I just got really mad at myself. I was so mad. I got to that recording and I was like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Like, so I made this, I might, I might publish it one of these days or part of it and put it in that playlist just as a last hurrah. So I did, there was like a, a whole video montage I did of picking up all of the objects. That's what I was working on in uh, Smithville Dam. So I was like going around with crane truck, picking up all the objects, right? And I made this, like, epic montage. And it took hours. And it was, like, had music, and it was, like, super fast-forwarded. And I was just, you know, going from one spot to the next, picking up a thing, picking up a thing. Dro like, I almost tipped the truck into the lake. Because um, I, like, extended the crane arm too long. And it was really fun. Like, I had really fun time recording it. And then I figured, okay, the last step of it... I'm just going to continue the recording because I had to like make it in several sections and then edit it and then put it together and then edit it again. And so like the very last one to turn in the last one, I was like, OK, we're going to like just start our normal recording here. Right. And I did the whole flip the screen to show the map and what we were going to be doing next and blah, blah, blah. And then I just stayed on the map for 45 minutes and didn't switch back to the main screen. That was just recording in the actual game. And I just, I got, I got through with all of that work to make that really cool montage. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me, man. So like I said, I just kind of hung it up for a couple of weeks. So I apologize if you were waiting for the next episode, it's not coming. Um, it, uh, <laughs> it kind of demoralized me a little bit. It beat me down a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so hard mode one. Uh, Zing Zero. So, 
Sorry about that. I will uh, I will try to do better in this one. Uh, I'm going to try and very consciously make sure like things like my microphone is on, uh, my audio is recording, my video is recording. It didn't like randomly stop. Uh, so yeah, we're going to we're going to be better this time around. I'm missing anything? I mean, where's my map? Oops. Okay, what do we got? We got this side. We gotta go over here. There's that add-on that's over here. We'll grab this tower and this vehicle. These quests. Let's go meander past this trailer to get these couple of trailers for experience. Yeah, so that's gonna be the goal. We're gonna just try and, like, get our experience the exploration way first i always feel like that's the better way to play this game too just because if you go and explore first especially if you have such a good scout like this thing is oops went the wrong way but yeah if you go and explore first you get some experience you get you get all the unlocks right you get all the vehicle unlocks and all the upgrades for the vehicles on the map usually And I feel like that's just a better way to do it. At least that's the way I like doing it. You can play the game however you like. If you want to download one of the super cheaty mods right off the bat, do it. Because it is it is like a blast. The only thing I would, I would put as a warning out there is it can make it boring really quickly. Because you're just, you're just driving around. That's all you're doing. <laughs> you're turning and pressing W and going forward. Um, and... It can make it it can make it a little too easy and therefore it becomes a little boring but uh i don't know like i said i still like the exploration aspect of this game it's definitely done right we're gonna go back through town no grab this yeah we definitely need to see if this thing can haul trailers i don't think it can i don't see a trailer hitch that could throw a wrench. So what I was going to do is I was going to just take a scout trailer and do what I was going to do in the next episode of Hard Mode and go all the way and do the last map with the scout trailer. But yeah, that didn't happen. Like I said, the save actually got corrupt because I added too many mods to it. And then I, I took them off and it, it like screwed up the save somehow. And I was like having problems getting into the game even. And I was like, you know what? I can't fix this, so <laughs> we just gave up. So yeah, let's see. Let's take a. This is a for science. We're not actually filling up with gas. I just want to see how much gas is. If it's the two, I think it's two dollars a gallon here. Ooh, eight dollars a gallon. Uh, I mean that's okay. That incentive is yeah, that's fine. I wanted it to not be free. It was the number one thing, so. I thought it was two dollars a gallon there. It is what it is. I said money shouldn't be as much of an issue, so if we have to buy a little bit of gas, we have to buy a little bit of gas, but we're still gonna utilize all the uh, free fuel, borrowed fuel. I found this random fuel trailer in this caravan park. And it now became mine. Fuel trailers. So yeah, I think that's going to be, um, like I said, first few episodes is just going to be scouting all of Michigan, getting all the upgrades. I'm not really going to have... Uh, not really going to talk too much about going forward, I guess, because uh, I don't really know how far I'm going to get in each episode, to be honest with you. It's sort of hard to predict sometimes. Like how I'm already 45 minutes into this episode. I don't plan on doing any jump cuts in this one because I wanted to talk about what was what the plan was while I just kind of meandered about. 
talk about what happened with the uh, hard mode. <laughs> and of course, kind of go, because like at the settings and that kind of thing in the beginning, I knew it was going to take 10, 15 minutes. So yeah, we're, we're kind of doing some of the some of the stuff everybody's seen already. I also have, so I have um some ideas and I kind of want to do, and this is something that again, if you have any ideas or things that you might like to see or not, but uh, I also would like to do a tip of the day. And we're going to talk about that tip of the day right now since I'm winching. You see down here I have F7 and F11. Now that's not actually the buttons I press. Those are buttons on my MMO mouse that I use. Um, but this is just something. It's it's. I do this in every game. But change your key bindings. Make the key bindings work for you. This is not a tip that you really see in a lot of games. Um, just because, oh, I need to go that way. Make it right. Um, so the... The, the reason I say that is, is, yeah, the default is, you know, like pressing one of the keys on your keyboard. I think it's like F and something, R or whatever. Not not really difficult keys to reach, right? But if you don't like those keys and you happen to have a, a mouse with extra buttons or, you know, you just want to use a different key. If you don't want to use WASD to move around I and mean, you want to use, you know, ESDF like some people use or other things, you know, you can use the up, down, left, right arrows if you really want to. But don't be afraid to change your key bindings in games. I feel like people don't do that enough. And that's my tip of the day. Um, is, you know, don't be afraid to look at the control settings and just say, you know what, I don't want that there. Because uh, sometimes quality of life is important and you get, you know, you just get it to wherever you want it and it works better. But yeah, I want to do I want to do something like that every day as well, or every every episode, not necessarily every day. Have a little snow runner tip. Have a little gaming tip. Not necessarily about uh, not necessarily directly about snow runner for that one. That's sort of a general gaming tip. You play any game and you can just say, you know what? I don't want to use this button for that. I don't want to use O. I want to use Q. You know. <laughs> Whatever you feel like doing, just make it make it comfortable for you, make it work for you. The people that designed it are not you, and you might like playing it slightly different. Okay, so do we have the map unlocked? I think we're good on this side. Let's see if we can get the SnowRunner box. We might be able to get the rest of that side. We're going to stop at the fuel trailer. Stop, fill up. Actually, I could probably, because I didn't get that bridge yet, I can't cut across. Yeah, let's just stop at this fuel trailer. The one that's the uh, bring to the base fuel trailer. And again, I play, I mean, I play the game the way that I play it. You can play it however you want to play it too. If you want to just do all logging missions, just do the logging missions. I wouldn't suggest it right in the beginning, but um, you might want to go get a better vehicle first. But you could do it with the, you know, you could do it with the stock two-wheel drive GMC. In theory, you could be very hard. You might have to bring a support vehicle to help you winch out of places, but it could be done. And that's sort of the point, right? We uh, pay, I mean, I don't remember how much I paid for this. I probably paid a lot for this game back when it first came out because I bought it when it first came out. I've been a fan of the series since Spin Tires 10 something years ago. Spin Tires was really cool. It was just really slow. It was a lot more, it was a lot more realistic. Um, like this game, this version of the game of the series is uh, they made it more fun, right? They made it like there is still some things that are pretty realistic in, but like you wouldn't be like blazing through these super muddy places with some of these vehicles, <laughs> you know? 
You'd be like snapping axles off. There'd be like tie rods just lying on the ground. One one extra bump in one of those highway vehicles, like the the international whatever I forget what it is. Pace Transstar, international Transstar. I think that's what it is. Where's my fuel trailer? Here it is. Yeah, that thing would that thing would just snap an axle off. Go through some of these holes with the with the highway tires on that thing. It's just not meant for that. But yeah, spin tires was uh was really slow. Like it was definitely a lot more about like shifting gears too. Like you had a, you had a, a lot more control over the transmission than you do in this game. Um, not that this is bad, but it's just, it's way, it's, it's designed more to like, let anybody play it. Right. Not just like avid off-roaders. Right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> which I'm not an avid off-roader either, but I've done it a couple of times. Just not anything serious. Nothing. Cause it was like my only vehicle, right? Like a, when you have a, a truck or I had a Jeep at a 96 XJ. Cherokee. Fun, fun, fun. That thing was super fun. And it did pretty good. It did pretty good off-road. Had a little small lift kit on it. I had 33s on it. 33-inch, like, BF Goodrich all-terrain TAs, so, like, nothing super fancy. And, yeah, I'd find a mud hole and play around. But it wasn't, like, it was my daily driver, too, so, like, I didn't want to crash it. I wasn't about to be paying for repairs. Uh, let's get that that last scout. We'll get when we do that mission. That's or that tower. Yeah, we might do some some of the scout specific missions as well. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a whole episode of scout missions. I don't. Know. It's just it's a lot of travel, which means I would be doing a lot of jump cuts, and then it's sort of hard for those. It's really difficult to uh, guesstimate how long my episode's going to be. Whereas an episode like this, I can tell you it's 52 minutes long so far. Because I haven't done any jump cuts. Oop. First damage. This thing is definitely pretty good. I'm not upset with this uh, this random roll of the dice on this one. Still have to drive smart. It's not the it's not invincible as most scout trucks aren't, but it's definitely a whole lot better start because it starts with off road tires. Let's see how much the gas is at this one. How much are you? So that's 12. So that is different. I could have swore it was two at that one. Maybe it is just like random. That's actually not terrible. That means like you could get to one of the really hard zones that's normally super expensive and it could be $2 gallon, you know? I I like this. This is uh, the randomization of it is uh, a little bit more interesting. Yeah, fuel economy on this thing is definitely not bad. We'll see how it is once I get this SnowRunner box in it. Which is what we're going to go get next. Look at that. Go get these watchtowers. And then we'll uh, finish out the episode. But yeah, I don't, I'm not really going to say, you know, what I'm going to do in the next episode. Because that's going to be sort of a let's plan it out a little better. I'd like to do a little bit more planning instead of... Instead of uh, some more I guess what I would consider uh, from the hip type uh, gameplay which is what I was doing before like I actually have a, a notepad of things up here in front of me to talk about and kind of saved what I was planning on doing for the for the various settings for new game plus
Get this guy. This thing knocks down trees good too. I don't know if you've ever noticed that playing this game, but um, there is some scouts, like the Scout 800, for example, when I was using that thing in hard mode, that you'd hit like a slightly too large bush and it would just stop. Whereas this thing like just pushes through trees and it just knocks them down. So like it was just kind of annoying. You'd get into some of the rougher terrain and not be able to get through it because it's like not there's not enough weight could be a thing. I know there is weights listed for each vehicle. And I don't really pay attention to that, even though I know weight definitely has a factor. Like, weight affects grip. There's lots of calculations that go on behind the scenes in this game, which I do enjoy. Let's grab this task. Get this watchtower. Definitely like the... I don't feel like we've had nighttime yet. Because I did the double daytime. And then there's going to be a normal night cycle at some point. I feel like it's been kind of dark all day, but it's also been kind of rainy and overcast. So I think what we'll do is we'll grab this last upgrade and watchtower. Which is this way. And then that upgrade's like over here somewhere. And we'll not do it. We'll again, we'll do this one later because that's when we got to go up there and anyhow to do quests. Can't get back this way. Shoot. Maybe that's where we'll end it. We'll head back to the gas station. And that's where we'll end. But yeah, I definitely, uh, if there's anybody coming back from the original series, I appreciate you coming back. Um, like again, I, I apologize again for being gone for so long. My, uh, my brothers, uh, had a baby and him and his wife had a baby and they uh they asked me to be godfather so i was pretty proud about that that was fun um so i get to uh make italian jokes and also be the godfather so uh he's uh he's super cute been spending lots of time over there helping them out uh grandma's been a little bit sick Going in and out of the hospital, so that's been uh, a little bit of uh, trials and tribulations. And of course, been spending time with my wife and her mom, um, who's, she's not doing so great either, but it's just age. Getting old, you know, it's what happens. But, uh, yeah, it's, I took some time off. Like I said, I got a little frustrated. I got a little frustrated with the whole recording thing and more in myself. I shouldn't be that way. But it happens. We're all human. We make mistakes, right? But that's going to be the goal for this series. We're going to have a little bit more fun with this one. Maybe get... Um, Maybe look into purchasing a slightly better off-road truck. I know there's one that you can get, but it's kind of gas thirsty. You can get for like right from the beginning of the game, though. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely not cheating. We're not going to go and buy like the Azov 6. Because I'd have to go to Tamir or some Russian zone to go and buy it. And we already said that we're not going to do that. So, but, but, on that note, we're definitely not going to restrict going to a different region second. So that's a little hint, a little hint for what's to come. We might not go to Alaska second, we might go somewhere else. 
I haven't decided yet. Um, okay, so that's the... I gotta go over here, get this. Where's my path? This is my path. Threw that away. Alright, so we're gonna get this upgrade. We scouted the entire Black River map. For the most part, not all of it, but almost all of it. Got all the upgrades. Got all the usable vehicles. We need to get them back to the garage. And then I might do I might do some stuff off cam too. I mean, like we you don't need to see me take the scout back. Um, because like I said, it's it's gonna live in the garage unless I absolutely need it until I have a second scout and then it's gonna get sold. Like I am there's a vendetta I have against the scout from the last set of episodes and uh it's going to remain that way. It's just not going to get used. I'm going to get the upgrades for it, sell all the upgrades, sell the vehicle, and it's going to just be sold. Because it's not fun. Again, we're focusing on having fun. So that's my plan. And uh, I hope you guys are having fun. Um... Like I said, I know I always have fun playing this game and I, I had a lot of fun doing the recordings for it. We're going to continue to do some of that fun stuff, not in this episode, but uh, there will be some times where I jump ahead or speed things up um, just because I think it, I don't know, I think it adds a little bit of flash and it, it takes some of the travel time out that you don't necessarily need to do. I mean, obviously, if you're playing it, you'll experiencing that. Um, but sometimes the travel is a little bit boring. Uh, where's my exit? Exit is this way. That way. Okay. Just didn't see it. It's finally becoming night. Finally getting dark out. So yeah, that was uh, that was kind of interesting to see the day cycle. A little bit longer day cycle. Hey, I'm pretty excited to get to some of the maps that I haven't done yet. So again, that's a bit of a hint. Um, there is some maps that I just haven't really done. Um, and we might just go there instead. Oh, that's right. Uh, I need to go through. Here's the path through. I missed it. This way. But yeah, next episode for sure is going to be more scouting. Um, we're going to... Oh, you know what? I should just go through that way, shouldn't I? Ugh. That's sort of a pain. Alright, we'll go that way. Not having the bridges unlocked. I like doing the bridges though too. Uh, maybe we'll. I don't. I'm not gonna jump ahead. We're not gonna do. I'm not. I, I purposely am gonna go out of my way to not do things off cam unless it's contests. That's my one rule. Um, contests are. If I do any contests on the recording, it's gonna be like the last one, right? Um, just because they are boring. And they are repetitive, and you just do the same thing over and over again. Um, but that's the plan going forward. Is we're gonna have a tip of the day, some sort of random gaming tip, like not this is this is a bonus tip, but things like update your drivers for your video card every once in a while. Don't be that guy. Let Windows update every once in a while. And then uh, having some sort of goal for each episode and we make it as far as we make it and we're just going to do it to have fun. And like I said, if it if it's if the episodes are a little shorter because I only made myself a short goal or I didn't have a ton of time or it was raid night and wow or <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it could be a shorter episode. It could be, let's go and do this one task. 
and this task I know is going to take me a little bit of time, but let's go do it. Um, and we're just going to kind of, we are going to kind of from the hip it a little bit, but like I said, I'm going to plan it out a little bit better. So in the beginning of each episode, we'll go over what our plan is for the day. It'll be in the title too. You'll figure it out. But that's going to be where we're going to leave it, guys. And gals. Thank you all for coming by. It has been a fun episode. Fun, fun first episode. This is uh, this experiment with figuring out... I'm going to steal some gas from this thing. I mean borrow. I think we're going to uh, leave it here and we will uh, see you in the next one. But again, as usual, like, comment, subscribe, follow, let the uh, hit the little notification bell till you uh, see the next episode coming. And we will catch you in the next one. Now I'm stuck. <laughs>